Hope you're all still awake, Late Night Mega here, and there's going to be more vengeance and revenge for vague reasons. Don Thousand. Really? The deity of the Barians appeared before Vector. They may have defeated me, but our battle is far from finished. Next time, I'll crush them once and for all. All I require is the strength. And if the ancient Varian legends are true, Don Thousand, I offer you my life force in exchange for your great power. Oh my. That's a very unique design. You woke me to plead for a favor, the gift of my power. Why? There's someone I must defeat once and for all, but I can't do it without your help. You speak of Astral. Yes, and his pest of a friend, Yuma Sukumo. Give me the power to defeat them, and I'll do whatever you ask. Uh, aren't you just, like, asking for a deck of cards, really? Because that's what you need to defeat them in this universe, right? Discover the locations of the seven Myth Mithrian numbers. Seven Mithrian numbers? Retrieve them, and we will be unstoppable. If that's what it takes to beat Yuma and Astral, then consider it done. Why don't you already have those? You're you're like the deity. The deity can't do his thing without having... whatever. Once receiving Don Thousand's power... Oh, okay, well that's convenient. Vector visited Mizar and Dumon. As you know, Astral has always been a threat to us. Many ages ago, he even defeated our great deity Don Thousand and cast him into the depths of the Great Barian Sea. And why did he do that, huh? If he continues absorbing numbers, he'll soon be in position to completely destroy Barian World. Why does he want to destroy Barian World? Other than you guys wanting to destroy him and Astral World. But never fear, Vector is here. What, are you pretending to be underdog now? I have learned of a way we can stop him. There are seven Mithrian numbers scattered across the human world. When we acquire them, we can wield their power to crush Astral. If your information is correct, then it is imperative that we find those numbers before Astral does. We could discover something else. If we travel to the human world, we may find clues that could lead us to Nash. To Nash? It seems like only yesterday we had seven Barian Emperors. We seven Barian Emperors had our ranks reduced to five when our fearless leader Nash and Mirian disappeared from Barian world. We may be led to our lost friends as we explore the dimensional doorways. Vector is right. We must split up and begin our search immediately. This better work, Vector. Meanwhile, Aster Astral had a vision of Don Thousand, which caused a map to appear on the airship. Why would those two things be related? Astral then summoned Yuma and his friends to the airship. Next time you bring us up to the airship, how about a heads up? I am sorry, but this matter is rather urgent. I was here on the deck when this planetary map unexpectedly appeared. There are ancient ruins at each of the marked locations. And more importantly, there are seven numbers hidden there. Seven numbers? Along with the map, there was also a message from your father. Of course, why not? Yes, he says we must collect seven Mithrian numbers before the Barians do. Or, we just collect, you know, like, one of them, and then let the Barians collect the rest, and they have to come and bring the rest to us, then we beat them in a duel and win the rest of them. Then we only have to track down one of them. There's no way I'll let my dad down. I'm going after those numbers, and nothing's going to stop me. Astral, lay out a course for the first sight. This airship's going full throttle. 
Warning, a hug battleship is approaching fast. Everyone headed to Spartan City in search of the first of the seven Mithrian numbers where they met old friends. Dexter and Nistro, what's up? Yuma, you are a sight for sore eyes. So you went pro, Nistro. I know it's a big career change, but we decided that we wanted to give young people hope. As the dueling superhero Nistramo the Star Voyager, I could give fans a hero they could look up to. And what brought you... What brought all of you here to Spartan City anyway? We're on a mission. We're looking for some ancient ruins. Dextra showed Yuma and friends where the ruins were located. However, Alito had made it to the Mithria number first. That looks like a number card. That card is mine for the taking. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? Alito. Yuma Sukumo. I'm glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about what happened to you after our duel. As you can see, I'm fine. I've completely recovered, and I can't wait to step into the ring with you and have a rematch. Mistro, you're a duelist, right? Then you'll love this card. Check it out. Whoa. That looks like Nistro on steroids. That's right. You will now use it to defeat Yuma for me. Yeah. What are you doing? Stop. I must eliminate all threats to Barian World. Winning this duel is, of course, the only way to free Nistro from Alito's mind control. Why is there so much mind control in, in Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, do they not have better ways of doing this? Whatever, we're going one second. Second just makes more sense. Until we draw all of our defensive monsters. Great. We got Gaga -ga -ga Tag. Curry Volt. Am I supposed to be intimidated by that thing? Okay, what what all's going on here? Okay. And he used one for one to get that. What does this uh, ambush soldier do? Heroic challengers. Oh, okay. Wait, does that do something in the graveyard? Oh, okay. Not particularly. Gagaga -ga -ga tag. Gain 500 attack for each Gagaga -ga -ga monster until your next standby phase. Ah, well, we can only tag him once, huh? Okay, cross attack. With the same attack this turn, one of them can attack your opponent directly, and the other cannot attack. That's stupid. First they have to have the same attack, and then they don't... Whatever. Some of these cards are so complicated to try and use that they're just ultimately not worth using. Um, we'll just do this and kill the thing. Uh, let's set Mystical Space Typhoon. See if that becomes useful. No face down card? Okay. Goblinburg. And we're gonna activate its effect. We're gonna get us a Utopia. That can just do whatever it wants to do. Because they're just going to make Utopia anyway. Well, we could make Excalibur. No, I like Utopia. And let's go attacking. Another Curry Vault. Well, it seems like whatever Nistro's deck is trying to do, he's not able to accomplish it. 
which is apparently get a bunch of level 1 monsters. Stoic Challenge? What does it do? Equip only to an Exceed monster that has Exceed material. It gains 600 attack for each Exceed material attached to it, and any battle damage your opponent takes from battles involving it and their monster is doubled. But its effects cannot be activated. During your opponent's end step, send this card to the graveyard. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Crap. If I destroy that, it's just going to destroy my monster. That's rude. Um, oh, hey, this works. We'll just, uh, we'll rank up. And is this the one where I get to destroy his monsters? I don't think it is. I want that one back. Yeah, no, I don't get to destroy his monsters. Eh, okay. Summon this thing. Yeah, we don't get to play tag. Oh, uh, th these are go go go, not ga ga ga. Right. I knew that. Oh, well, there goes the clasp sword. And there goes a bunch of his life points. Alright, Mistro. Um, it looks like this duel's just about over here. No. 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 This is not what I wanted. Ah, uh, there's another heroic champion, Gandiva. Ouch. Um, does this do anything that I'm going to care about? Okay, just don't special summon level 4 lower monsters. I can do that. I don't know why I'm summoning that. And then, uh... Activate the effect of Utopia Ray. Negate that face-up monster's effect. Also, this card gains attack equal to that. Yeah, why not? We'll just gain a whole bunch of attack points. That works. Nistro, are you okay? Yuma, what's going on? I wish you'd told me that you were taking on these Baryans, Yuma. Just give me the word and I'll drop everything to help you. How do you know anything about Baryan? Whatever. No thanks, I'd never let you abandon your dream. You told me you wanted to give all your fans hope. You're not going to let them down, are you? No, of course not. Maybe you should keep this number card, too. Uh, there we go. Oh, great, we're playing as Shark again. 